going to be my review for Grand Theft Auto V on the PlayStation 4. This game came out on the PlayStation 3 about a year ago. Um, obviously the graphics have been enhanced and they have been adding a first person view. Technically the game is still the same, it has all the same missions, all the same recordings, uh, just slightly better graphics, and the character models are still somewhat stiff in the cutscenes. But this game basically is an open world RPG sandbox game like Shin Mu on the Sega Dreamcast. And you can walk around the fictional city of Los Santos and do pretty much whatever you want. It's like a real life game. You break the law, the cops will come. And um, you can do menial tasks as well as criminal activity. It's pretty much up to you, whatever you want to do with this game. Uh, there's an online mode. Up to 30 people, but I was kicked off the online several times. It, it's still working out the glitches, I suppose. This game is very mature content matter. Um, yet at the same time, I mean, it's not necessarily what you have to do in the game. You can play tennis golf, and um, besides that, to unlock different weapons and things, you can go along in the story mode, which follows the story of three people, Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, who do various jobs of criminal activity, such as robbing, hitman work, and comms. There are very boring missions in the mode of story, and fortunately you can skip them, which I appreciate that very much. Um, The online mode is basically the same as the story mode in which you are in an open world and able to do pretty much whatever you want and there are missions. You create your own character and you can hear other people talking on your headset while you play and they say various offensive things to you and that's a lot of fun. Um, as I said before, right now the online is a little bit um, let's say glitchy, but hopefully they'll update that and I won't be continuously being kicked off. But for a game that came out a year ago on an older system, I'm finding myself playing this pretty much all throughout the day. And uh, all of this footage I recorded myself of me playing. And um, the only problem I'm having is replaying the story mode that I had already played on the PlayStation 3 because it's very boring to just sit through all of the story mode to just have to unlock the weapons and everything like that and there's probably codes to unlock all the weapons but you don't want the trophies and I like to keep the trophies so I can have a higher gamer score um, I don't have anything to do so hopefully I'll unlock the rest of the game and continue story mode past the point where I quit on my PlayStation 3 a year ago. But um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give this game a 9, only losing points because of the glitches of the online and the fact that it is a last generation game with a new texture mapping to make it look graphically glorious the way that it looks right now so I appreciate you watching this review
and I will be reviewing The Evil Within for my next review. But until then, enjoy gaming and uh, have a wonderful day.